Felix. Whoa, Andrew. What's happened? I cannot believe what just happened. Someone gave you a Christmas decoration? <laughs> no. I was walking into the office. Really? And a wizened old man. Is it wizened or wizened? He was wise looking. <laughs> he handed me this crystal ball and said, inside this crystal ball lies ye the truth of Basel 2017. Why is a dull man gave you a fortune telling ball? I think this means we need to make a video we need of to predictions. Make a video. What? Let's go! <laughs>Okay, who are we starting with? I think Amiga. Oh, we'll start at the end. Okay, and what do you see in, in our crystal ball of I've gazed into prophecy. the orb of the future, <laughs> and uh, I've worked out that it is the 60th anniversary of a little watch called the Speedmaster. Ooh, not an entirely controversial choice. No, and my uh, arcane prognostications suggest... Wow. That we're going to have some sort of reissue of yeah. said watch. So what do we amazing. predict? Let's, let's put a fine point on it. Look, what do you I see mean, from Omega? The, the, they could either go, you know, super authentic, or they could go, you know, we could see something with maybe, I don't know, like a ceramic bezel. Mm. I suspect it'll veer more towards a traditional. I think they know that the purists will start twitching in the eyes mm -hmm. if they start messing with the, the original too much. You? I agree. I think it will be very close to the original because. The Moonwatch and all of those many, many yep. variations have had a lot of license to be modern and yep. you know and on trade with. Yep, yep. Played with. This is sacred. The 57 yep. is sacred. Leave it alone. Let's go original. Done. Number two. Well, the ball has been murky mm. on the topic of tag oil. Ooh, not really. Well, well, <laughs> maybe it's been murky because we constantly get emails saying, "Hey, it's a brand new connected watch. Hey, <laughs> it's out tomorrow. Which, what sort of Ortavia do you want to see this yeah. year, guys?" So they've, they've sort of taken the crystal ball element out yeah. of this, which makes it a bit less they've fun. Made it, they've made it crystal away. clear. And I'm, I'm hoping this is kind of a little bit of a, a hope more than an educated guess. Mm -hmm. One of the models that we haven't seen a lot of recently is the Camaro. Ooh, sexy. Yes. Yeah, it's a, it's yeah. a really, it's sort of that, that sort of broad, cushiony case. And it's a bit of an, an underdog in the vintage Hoyer chronograph, so I'm hoping for some Camaro love. What do you expect to see from our friends Long jeans. Long jeans. Oh, look, it's again, it's a bit of a Dorothy Dixer to say we're going to see Lindbergh's this year because we are. It's another oh, really? uh, anniversary. This is the inside Lindbergh. scoop, is it? It is. Okay. Uh, but I want to see one at Basel. I'm going to say that Long jeans will release a Lindbergh at Basel and that it will be very faithful to the original with no new material. And what do we see for the Grand Masters, uh, the Patek Philippe? The obvious prediction for me is uh, more nautil eye. Is that yes. the plural of Nautilus? Yes. Do you have any inklings? I do. I see a left field heritage reissue. In oh. July of this year, there will be the biggest ever Patek Philippe public uh. exhibition in New York at the Cipriani. And I think that's a great cause uh -huh. for opening up the archives, uh -huh. dusting off something as obscure yep. as a pilot yep. watch. So you, you think Thierry will... That one. Mix that one. Yes. Okay. And then... Okay. All right. Well, I, 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 you know... So your, I, I, your guess is as good as mine. <laughs>